modding, destructibility beyond their wildest dreams, great world design, stupidity and seriousness. That's Avalanche's recent say on Just Cause 3. My name is Stally111 and today on Just Cause Talk I'm going to be talking to you guys about some recent hints at what we could expect from the game. Avalanche Studios revealed that their development goals for Just Cause 3 are to give the users the biggest, most vibrant sandbox world possible. They want to offer the player a polished feeling of joy. You may be asking, so what does this mean we should expect? Well, to put it simply, they're going to create everything good from their previous games, make it bigger and make it better. To the developers, the series relies on a strong establishment of verticality. A massive world is exciting, but as I've stated in a previous video, in Just Cause 3 you will be able to glide around the world comfortably. With the new generation and PCs allowing great density in worlds, as we've seen in the likes of Far Cry 4, Avalanche have the opportunity to create some of the most expansive environments on the surface of the map, and even underneath it, within caverns and underwater areas. The head developers are wanting the player, when exploring the world, to feel like they are in the midst of the greatest and biggest action movie they can imagine. I can certainly say I've already got some plans for some filming of a sort in this game. I just hope they can execute this action movie feel well. The devs go on to talk about destructibility of the world, which they have made out to be epic. It's almost like a third person sandbox with Battlefield's Levolution. Uh, world -ution? Nah, that just sounds stupid, doesn't it? But that's what they're kind of going for. I'll go into that in a minute. The destruction is to a level that you could place an explosive on a bridge and blow it up whilst the convoy is going underneath it. It collapses on the convoy, killing every enemy inside. I can imagine they will have buildings and such getting destroyed, but that hasn't been completely confirmed. Fingers crossed, guys. Back to Avalanche not caring if things are stupid. They say that the game is actually driven by stupidity. No, not of you. The game's over the top mechanics and silly things that can go on, like carrying a truck with a helicopter by a grapple. In its current state, Chief Creative Officer Christoph Sundberg jokes that Just Cause 3 is roughly 70% stupid and 30% serious. What's even more ridiculous is the gameplay madness won't stop there. Sundberg says that his team will be working with the console and PC communities to expand the world of Just Cause 3 in ways to add to the experience. This isn't just teasing us DLC, which would be free, but it does confirm to us modding communities and tools for modding are coming our way, which is expected with the Just Cause Online mod success. But they are still wanting to make the story serious enough to be properly enjoyed by everyone, despite the franchise never being plot driven. It will be digging deeper into Rico's past history, which I guessed as much from looking at the revealed screenshots. I might be wrong here, but Rico does look a lot younger in them. Maybe we could see some of his training with Tom Sheldon, who's his mentor. Without any proper footage yet, I'm not sure when the game could release, but hopefully we could see something soon. My best bet would be a full trailer shown to us around E3 time later this year, with a release date within it. Thanks very much for watching, my name is Stanley111 and I hope you have enjoyed. Make sure to drop a like, drop a comment and subscribe if you've not done so already. See you guys on the next Just Cause Talk.